CCDC11 is a 62 kill Dalton basic protein shown to have three coiled coil domains as shown by the three boxes. Previously, the protein has been established to localize to the ciliary base and play a role in, during ciliogenesis. However, the precise molecular role during these processes remains largely unknown. It is proposed that the clockwise motion of nodal cilia is responsible for creating a fluid flow that establishes left-right asymmetry in vertebrate animals. When the cilia are defective, the location of organs will be randomized. Consistent with its role in ciliogenesis, CCDC11 human mutations have been found in patients with laterality disorders. Shown on the left is the normal placement of the organs. In the middle is the complete reversal of the organs. And on the right is, a com is heterotaxia, a potentially fatal disorder that causes the mispositioning of major visceral organs. Shown on the schematic diagram are four CCDC11 human mutations that have been found in patients with heterotaxia, dextrocardia, and cetus inversus. Previous to date, there has been no published data providing for a role of CCDC11 outside of the context of cilia and centrioles. However, an unpublished student data from our mentor's lab suggested that CCDC11 localized to the mid-body and cycling RPE1 cells, leading to our hypothesis that CCDC11 is necessary for the successful completion of cytokinesis. To address our hypothesis, we proposed four major experimental questions. First, we wanted to test whether CCDC11 localizes to the mid-body and others not only in ciliated RPE1 cells, but also in other cell types such as non-ciliated HeLa and U2S cells. Next, we were curious as to which coiled quill domains of CCDC11 were responsible for its localization to the mid-body. To directly address our hypothesis, we wanted to examine the effects of CCDC11 depletion on cell division, and if a defect was observed, we wanted to probe the underlying molecular mechanisms. To explore our experimental questions, we performed a series of experiments. HeLa and U2OS cells were immunostained for CCDC11 in green, microtubules in red, and nuclei in blue. We found that in the beginning stages of cytokinesis, CCDC11 was enriched at the, at the cleavage furrow. In mid-cytokinesis, CCDC11 localized to the, to the, localized to the mid-body. And in late cytokinesis, CCDC11 was found at the, at the flanking regions of the mid-body, indicated by the dark gap between the acetylated positive alpha tubule and microtubules. During abscission, CCDC11 dissociated. In U2OS cells, CCDC11 was shown to be highly enriched at the flanking regions of the midbody during abscission. In, in both cell lines, CCDC11 was shown to localize to the centrioles, demonstrating for the first time that the protein is present in non-ciliated cell types. To address our second experimental question, we transfected cells with four different plasmid constructs. Full length contained all three coiled coil domains, patient mutation contained coiled coil domains one and two, CC1 contained coiled coil domain one, and CC23 contained coiled coil domains two and three. Full length and patient derived CCDC11 were clearly visible at the midbody. However, CC1 and CC23 were lost or only weakly detectable at the midbody. This is interesting because the same coiled coils 1 and 2 have been shown to be responsible for centriolar localization by Silva et al. in 2016. This suggests that CCDC11 is transported to the midbodies and centrioles through similar mechanisms. Having established that CCDC11 localized to the midbody in cytokinesis, we wanted to understand the, understand the effects of CCDC11 depletion on cell division. To do this, we used an siRNA validated by Silva et al. in 2015. siRNA works by targeting mRNA for, for degradation. And as, for our negative control, we used an randomized siRNA sequence. As shown by immunofluorescence microscopy, in CCDC11 knockdown cells, CCDC11 localized to the midbody was dramatically reduced. It is known that cytokine cytokinetic defects often lead to bi and multinucleated cells. Consistent with this, after 48 hours of CCDC11 sRNA transfection, we observed increased instances of bi and multinucleated cells. In order to achieve accurate quantification of this, we used beta catenin shown in green in order to outline the cell boundaries. Quantification revealed a 3.5-fold increase in binucleated cells and a 2.9-fold increase in multinucleated cells. This data indicates for the first time that CCDC11 may be responsible for the efficient completion of cytokinesis. 
Next, we wanted to understand the underlying molecular mechanisms associated with cytokinetic defects in CCDC11 knockdown cells. The escort 3 complex is known to be crucial in the final stages of cytokinesis. The escort 3 complex is composed of chimp proteins and is necessary for membrane scission. Cytokinesis begins when the levels of kinases decrease in the cell, allowing for PRC1 to bind to central spindolin and forming the central spindle. CEP55 localizes to the central spindle and recruits escort 1 through TSG101 and recruits escort 3 through the use of the protein Alex. In order to further understand CCDC11's true role during cytokinesis, we assess the midbody recruitment of three major cytokinetic proteins, these being PRC1, CEP55, and the escort 3 subunit CHIM2A in CCDC11 knockdown cells. PRC1 and CEP55 show no obvious changes in signal intensities at the midbody in CCDC11 knockdown cells. However, CHIM2A showed a dramatic decrease in knockdown cells. Through quantification analysis, it was revealed that 90% of knockdown cells experienced a decrease in CHIMP2A. This suggests that CCDC11 acts downstream of PRC1 and CEP55 and upstream of escort filament formation, and that CCDC11 promotes the recruitment of CHIMP2A to the midbody. Based on our results, we propose the following model. RA results indicated for the first time that CCDC11 plays a role in cytokinesis. Coiled coils domain 1 and 2 are required for midbody localization of CCDC11. Mechanistically, CCDC11 facilitates the recruitment of CHIM2A to the midbody. And when CCDC11 is depleted, the facilitation of CHIM2A is also decreased, resulting in cytokinetic failure and binucleation as a result. A few ciliary proteins have been shown to play roles in cytokinesis as well, suggesting for a similar mechanism that operates between the two processes. Our results further support this because we observed that the coiled coiled domains 1 and 2 of CCDC11 were necessary for its recruitment to both the midbody and centrioles. It was previously demonstrated by Olmos and Carlton in 2015 that CHIM2A follows a similar localization pattern to that observed for CCDC11 in our study. This suggests that CCDC11 could directly interact with CHIM2A or potentially other escort 3 components. It is unknown how CCDC11 interacts with other midbody proteins. However, we propose two models. And the first one involves a coiled coiled domains contained in many of the midbody proteins, such as Alex, TSG101, and CEP55. CCDC11 may interact directly with these proteins through their coiled coiled domains. The second possible interaction is an MIT-MIM helical interaction. It is known that CHIM2A binds or recruits to VPS4 through a MIM1 sequence located on the C terminus of CHIM2A. We inspected the CCDC11 protein sequence for a MIM1 consensus sequence and found two MIM1, MIM1 motifs. We used the HeliQuest web server in order to discern the structures of the possible helices. We found that the MIM-like sequences in CCDC11 were amphipathic in nature with a distinct hydrophobic face and highly charged patch. Our analysis indicates that CCDC11 may bind and recruit MIT domain-containing proteins such as VPS4 to the midbody through its MIM motifs. Our research has many plausible impl implications. For example, CCDC11 inhibition may offer a may reduce cancer cell proliferation. Cancer is deadly due to excessive cell proliferation and metastasis. CCDC11 inhibition may offer a viable alternative in treating cancer. Besides cytokinesis, escort 3 has also been shown to play roles in neuronal pruning as well as viral budding because all of these processes are known as membrane scission events. Our results suggest that CCDC11 may also be involved in these other membrane scission events through its recruitment of the escort 3 complex. Neuronal pruning is the process of synapse elimination to increase brain efficiency during development. Defects in pruning have been associated with neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's, Huntington's, autism, and frontal temporal dementia. Thus, manipulation of CCDC11 may help improve their symptoms. Similarly, budding and formation of viral particles may be prevented through inhibition of CCDC11. It may be interesting to, have a little, to examine the effect of CCDC11 depletion on other midbody proteins such as Alex, TSG101, and CHIM4A and B. In addition, it may be intriguing to observe the midbody localization patterns of escort 3 components such as VPS4. Finally, CCDC11 protein to protein interaction assays may be completed for CCDC11 and other escort 3 components. 
Live cell imaging would also be helpful in order to observe the cytokinetic defects in real time and further understand CCDC11's role during cytokinesis. Our results suggest that CCDC11 is involved in other membrane incision events. The Research, the further research of CCDC11 in the context of neuronal pruning as well as viral budding may provide for a foundation to develop new therapies to treat neurodegenerative diseases and prevent the spread of viruses. Thus far, we have only examined CCDC11 in vitro using human cell lines such as HeLa and U2OS. However, in the future, it would also be important to observe CCDC11 in vivo using animal models such as zebrafish, mice, and humans. We would like to thank our research director, Dr. Lake, and our mentor, Dr. Takamaro at Stony Brook University for aiding us through this research and supporting us through this entire process.